that the Honorable Chief Minister all alone does not constitute the government. The government is a three-legged government in our state, as we call the Maha Vikas Agadi. It constitutes of three essential political parties, the Congress, the NCP and the Shiv Sena. Honorable Mr. Thakre is the Chief Minister from Shiv Sena. He may be the Chief Minister of all the ministers who form the government, but he does not essentially alone form the government. The words which were spoken were not against the government as such. It was against an individual. And this argument was developed by us on the basis of a judgment of the Supreme Court. where the Supreme Court says that any words which are spoken as against an individual does not necessarily mean that those words apply to the government. Our argument is that the government essentially means all the ministers in the Legislative Assembly and they are headed by the Honorable Chief Minister. I don't wish to in the least try to subscribe to whatever was said. It's a matter of investigation. It's a matter of trial. Let us leave it to that, whether said, not said or whatever it is. But all said and done, our case is that the charge of 124 capital A was never made out. It was only after the police realized that there is a possibility that they may get enlarged on bail under 153A charge because of a lack of evidence that subsequently, when he was produced before the magistrate's court on the 24th, they just meant, made a mention in the remand application, the charge of 124A has also been added. The other most important fact, which my learned brother, Mr. Gharat, did not even make an attempt to answer was a case that we raised out that at this particular point of time, after having been remanded into judicial custody on the very first day of production, the prosecution has not been able to justify, nor have they demanded, continuous detention of Ravi Rana and Navneet Kaur Rana for the purposes of custodial interrogation. The law is very clear. Continuous detention is required only to facilitate custodial interrogation. If the purpose of custodial interrogation is lost, or if there is no need for custodial interrogation, then Supreme Court frowns upon such incarceration. And the Supreme Court is always of this particular view, that if the court is of the view or court is of the opinion that the accused is likely to be available for trial, the arguments of the bail application arguments of the bail application were heard at length. My brother, uh, Senior Minister Konda, argued the matter. Mr. Gharat also argued the matter. The learned judge very patiently heard both the arguments, made necessary notes. Several judgments were pointed out. The crux of the matter on our side was that 153 capital A as well as 124 capital A does not apply to the facts of the case. 153 capital A does not apply because the case of the prosecution does not highlight who are those two religious communities, those two religious groups or those two religious sects between whom there is a possibility of promotion of hatred or disharmony calling for application of section 153A. Secondly, as far as 124 capital A is concerned, two very important arguments were this, that the words which were supposed to have been used by both the accused persons, Mr. and Mrs. Rana, were not capable of having caused disaffection or disapprobation against the government, leading to breach of public tranquility or public disorder. It was absolutely essential that the words were capable of causing public tranquility breach or breach of public order. In fact, it's a matter of record that no such incident of breach of public order or breach of tranquility was ever reported between the 22nd of April and 24th of April when they were arrested and produced before the court. So therefore, 124 capital A was not applied. The second very important point which was argued is this, that the claim of the government that it amounts to sedition was disputed by us. According to us, the words which were used by Mr. and Mrs. Rana against Mr. Uddhav Thakre, sir, the Chief Minister of Government of Maharashtra, was not as against the government itself. Our case is that the Honorable Chief Minister all alone does not constitute the government. The government is a three-legged government in our state, as we call the Maha Vikas Agadi. It constitutes of three essential political parties, the Congress, the NCP and the Shiv Sena. Honorable Mr. Thakre is the Chief Minister from Shiv Sena. He may be the Chief Minister of all the ministers who form the government. 
but he does not essentially alone form the government. The words which were spoken were not against the government as such. It was against an individual. And this argument was developed by us on the basis of a judgment of the Supreme Court, where the Supreme Court says that any words which are spoken